you guys and welcome back to Stampaholics Anonymous. Today we are going to be looking at the first of, um, let's just say several, <laughs> uh, collections from um, Pop Nail Polish. Uh, Pop Nail Polish is an indie brand that I have um, stumbled across on um, Instagram. They have an Etsy shop and I went ahead and bought well, they belong together in one collection, really. Um, two neon collections and one multi-chrome, very exciting collection. And then some glitter bombs that do belong to a collection, but I only got a few of those. Anywho, um, today we are going to be looking at a six-piece neon collections. And these are like um, uh, uh, bleached neons. Wow, that's the word I was looking for. And as you can see, Pop Nail Polish has these very beautiful um, bottles that are slightly impractical but still beautiful. And the wand is cool um, and no complaints here. But sometimes uh, it's hard, you know, for them to stand up on their own, especially if you're, you know, dipping your brush in. You do want to be careful not to tip these over. Um, I learned that from experience. Anywho, we are going to be looking at this six piece. Um, part of the neon collection and then I have like a seven piece I don't know why it's seven <laughs> seven piece real neon collection that is not like bleached uh, out <clears throat> let's take a quick look at the colors first up we have this bleached out neon green which is called oops weird science <laughs> Sorry, too close to the camera. Weird science. Then we have a bleached out neon yellow, which is called The Breakfast Club. We have this bleached out, um, I do believe it's a bleached out neon pink. It's kind of hard to see in the bottle. It looks like a red, uh, especially in this lighting and on, on, on the camera. It's called Like a Virgin. Um, and then we have this bleached out neon purple, which is called Heathers. Then we have a um, bleached out neon blue, which is called, very funnily, Ferris Bueller's Days Of. I just love the movie um, Ferris Bueller's Day Of. I loved it when I was a kid, even though I was much too young to watch it. But anywho, then we have this bleached out neon orange, which is called Say Anything. Um, I should have mentioned that these are like all, you know... It's, uh, the collection is called the 80s something. Uh, I'm gonna look it up and put it on screen because it, it just slips my mind. And if you hear weird noises in the background, that's because we are having, um, there are a lot of fireworks going on tonight in Cologne. That happens like once a year and I hate it. I just hate fireworks and I don't want to be close to them. So that's why I'm inside filming polish videos for you guys. So. Um, I'm gonna set up for swatches and meet you back for the swatches. I'm curious how these work. I have not tried them out. Um, I did do like a gradient with these, but that's not really representative of how the formula is and how, you know, opaque they get on their own. So I'm curious to find out what's gonna happen. This time I'm gonna do the voiceover while I'm doing these swatches and to save myself a bit of work. This is the first coat as you can see. It goes on sort of expectantly, nice and streaky like you would expect from a good yellow polish or not good yellow polish. But I'm not too concerned because I'm quite sure that it will level itself out on the second coat. Um, like I mentioned, the bottles are a bit hard to work with because um, they wobble around when you put your brush back into them. Um, but the brush and the wand are really nice because they are quite long. And um, that seems to, you know, give you some control over what you're doing. The brush itself is very, very thin, but I don't mind that. I love China Glaze's brushes, so I'm good with these. And as you can see here, um, the first coat has dried nice and patchy, <laughs> but also semi-matte. So here's our second coat. It's still rather patchy. So I might have to go back for a third coat. But the color itself builds up nicely. There 
It's just that I can see some darker spots in some places. Um, yeah, and I think I'm gonna go for a third coat. So that's the third coat. Opacity is okay. I can still see some bald spot, bald spot or dark spots from where I'm sitting, but it's not too bad. Alright, next up is Weird Science. Let's see how this one does. I'm gonna attempt to do thinner coats because on the yellow I did notice that at three coats it was a little overwhelming on my nails and it did not smooth out itself completely. The formula, by the way, is good. It is, I don't know, it's between thin and thick. <laughs> it doesn't run, it doesn't pool anywhere, so that's good, but I know, I still find it kind of hard to work with these, but these are the two like typical candidates for being a hard um, polish to work with. If you, you know, if, if we're talking about neons, um, the green and the yellow always seem to be like the hardest to work with, no matter what collection I try. But it's easy to apply, and so far I didn't have anything running into my cuticles, so that's good. Okay, so it did even itself out a bit on the second coat. I may have put on a um, first coat that was too thick on my pinky there. So I did kind of take off a bit of polish when I was applying that second coat. I'm trying not to go over it too often, but I'm still trying to get all these dark spots so I get a nice even coat. But I have to admit, it's uh, kind of hard to work with this to get it to be even. Okay, so there are still a few like dark spots here on my middle finger especially, and then here on my ring finger. So I'm gonna do like a third coat of this off camera and then show you a picture of it. Let's take a look at Ferris Bueller's Days Off. Maybe it's supposed to mean day off, like the movie. I don't know. Let's see. Very sheer on the first coat, but it is a light blue, so kind of is to be expected. And this time I'm really going to let the coats dry really, really, really thoroughly. Um, even though they seem to be dry, with the yellow and the green. I somehow managed to take part of the polish off applying the next coat, which was weird because I thought it was dry. It was dry to the touch also. So uh, weird formula, that's all I can say currently. <laughs> Maybe because these are so bleached out there's something different about the formula, I don't know. But, you know, this is a light polish, so it goes on patchy on the first coat. And it might also be down to my swatching base. Because sometimes it does weird things to otherwise fine polishes, but not always. At least it's really, really easy to work with this wand. 
and the brush and there's like droplets of polish running down the stem because it's so long so you do want to be careful with that this is the second coat I let the first coat dry for a little bit longer than I did the first two polishes that seems to help a little but I still have some dark spots I know this formula just um, in a way it makes me apply much thicker coats than I want to because of the way it flows onto the brush and then onto my nail it's weird I'm, I'm not a hundred percent happy <laughs> and my nails are so long now and so curvy that from the angle I'm doing this video I can hardly see like this side of my nail so that's why I keep turning it in a weird angle <laughs> So I could get to that side of my nail. Okay, I gotta show you real quick what I mean. This seemingly is dry, but you can see how thick the polish has gotten in some places, even though I didn't intend to do this. Um, and that means that it's not dry all the way through. I can show you by touching it. You can still see, you know, the marks that my finger made. Weird, weird formula. Um, Really not 100% happy about this. Okay, so this goes on a lot smoother than the other three polishes so far, I would say. That's a lot easier to work with this one. Also a bit sheer, but formula-wise I'm a lot more happy than I was before. Um, still, again, the wand is nice and long, which has its, you know, its good um, points, but it also has uh, a negative point, which is that there's a lot of polish running down the stem because it's so long. And you just do want to be mindful of that. It's not really a disadvantage, but you do want to be mindful of that. Um, other than that, this one went on a lot easier and nicer than the other ones. There is, of course, a lot of sheerness and some dark spots, but I'm hoping for this second coat to remedy that. Okay, since we're already doing everything different than uh, usually, uh, this is like kind of the same status that I showed you before in the blue polish where I thought it was dry but it wasn't dry and this one is dry you cannot see my finger print on it and it's sort of in the same state that the other one was so I don't know what's going on maybe the pigments in the other um, three polishes are different I don't know so here's the second coat and that does level itself out nicely even though, again, I am getting a lot more polish on my nail than I would like to have. And from where I'm looking at it, I can still see my nail line. But, you know, that is the case sometimes with red and like orange polishes. So you can still, from some angles, still see your nail line. Um, even though other people can't. Ah, it's dripping. see that this one is a lot more pink once it goes onto your nails than it looks in the bottle. In the bottle at first I was like why did she send me this random red polish? It's so weird. Um, but it is part of the bleached neon collection. If you hold it against or like up to the real pink you are seeing the difference. And on the nail it is very apparent that this is pink and not red. And I am happy to report that the formula is a thousand percent better um, than the previous four polishes even. Even better than the last one, to say anything. 
Um, I'm still having issues with the uh, polish running down the stem, but I just try to ignore that as best as I can. So here's the second coat of the pink. Ooh, droplets running down my stem. Ah, it's still a bit sheer, so I am definitely going to go for a third coat, and I'm trying my best to do very, very thin coats, as um, you know, otherwise this formula just overwhelms your nails and it looks not very nice. Let's just put it that way. Here you can see that it's happening again. It's like if I don't be, if I d I'm not careful enough to swipe the brush off, there's polish running down the stem into the brush and then it just flows onto my nail and it gets a little too thick of a coat, which I don't want. But you can see here on the third coat, I can still see my nail line from up here. Especially against this very, very white paper and this, um, you know, in this lighting. But I think, you know, if I turn them around like this, you cannot see the nail line. But this, like I said before, this just sometimes happens with um, red and pink polishes. sounds now officially like I am living in a war zone, but I assure you it's just fireworks and cycling helicopters that have been cycling all day over, you know, this area. Hmm. So I can't sleep anyway, so I might as well swatch, right? <laughs> okay, so here's the last of the six polishes of the bleached neons. Better formula again. Same issue though that uh, if you're not careful you are getting way too much polish onto your brush that is you know running down from the stem and you end up applying a lot thicker of a coat than you originally intended. I think I did a good job there on my ring finger. Here's the second code, accompanied by a lot more fireworks than is okay for my liking. Yeah, and that evens itself out on, on the second code very much, and it might be completely opaque in two codes. Might be, <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Yeah, this is definitely opaque in two coats. So, the best, I saved the best for last. <laughs> this has the best formula and is opaque in two coats. you guys it's actually the next day because I couldn't finish filming last night because um, it sounded uh, like I was living in a war zone because of those fireworks going on and then there was this helicopter uh, that was like uh, circling all around um, you know uh, the town <laughs> it really sounded awful so I couldn't finish my video last night um, also I have learned that late night swatches are probably not the best thing to do so um, you might want to take this uh, review with a pinch of salt because I'm not sure if it was down to me being really tired and it being late at night that I just couldn't you know properly get these three to work. My favorites out of these col out of this collection were um, like these two, the Leica Virgin, the um, muted or uh, like uh, bleached pink neon and then the bleached pink purple. I really like those. I also like the Say Anything, the bleached orange and like the three 
others over on the left side here, mm, not so much. I had a hard time with the formula. I do want to point out that I did also try out this top coat uh, that Pop Polish makes. Um, it's called Liquid Glass. I specifically bought this top coat um, to go with the glitter bombs that I have because, you know, them being glitter bombs, they need a good thick top coat. Um, I would put this top coat like in the same league as HK Girl and Sash Vite. It does dry quickly. It's really nice and thick. Um, and does a good job as you saw in the in the swatch pictures. So the top coat I like. I also like these three and now I'm curious to see how the other collections swatch because I don't know, I'm still kind of on the fence. I might try out these um, like on their own again without having a swatch base on and uh, so forth. I did use all of these polishes in a manicure I did for um, like for a gradient and they worked fine then. I put them over a white base though. So I also might try using this over a white base and see if it makes the formula any better. But overall, would I recommend getting the whole collection? I don't think so. I would definitely, if you're looking into bleached neons, uh, recommend, um, you know, just looking at these three or, you know, just figuring out which of these colors you really need in your life and then not going with the whole collection. But you know me, I'm a, you know, I'm a completionist so uh, I had to keep these puppies together in a collection and you know some of them like the Ferris Bueller's Day Off are just cool for the name so I'm not too sad like like I was last night I was really sad because half of the collection didn't work properly anywho that's it for today you guys let me know if you've um, had any experience with pop nail polish um, and if you've heard of this brand seen it on Instagram or whatever um, and just let me know what you thought of this collection what do you think of the idea of bleached out neons in general um, I started off this like little pop polish series with these bleached neons. You can stay tuned for the real neon collection uh, and then also a what she calls 360 degree oil slick collection. I'm really excited about those. And then I also have, like I mentioned, a bunch of glitter bombs coming up from this brand. So thanks again for watching you guys. I will talk to you next time. Bye!